Great apes are complex, intelligent species, and we are extremely fortunate that here at the Columbus Zoo Aquarium, we are um, home to orangutans, bonobos, and gorillas. We strive to provide the best well-being and care to every single individual here at the Columbus Zoo, and one of the major health threats to great apes is cardiac disease. So we want to make sure that we are monitoring these animals effectively and aggressively and providing them with the appropriate treatments when they need them. So recently, we anesthetized two orangutans, two bonobos, and two gorillas in a three-day period to implant implantable loop recorders close to their heart to measure heart rate and rhythm. All six animals were chosen because they have some degree of heart disease. These loop recorders will give us vital information real time as they collect data on heart rate and rhythm without us being present. Orangutans Dumplin and Sulongo, gorillas Mac and Katembe, and bonobos Maiko and Jimmy all recently received recorders. These individuals range in age from 25 to 48 years old, but they have one thing in common, they all have known heart disease. This is the first time we've put recorders into bonobos. Bonobos are the least known species of great ape and they're only housed at eight institutions in the United States with a population of less than 100. The ability for us to put these devices in and learn more about their specific cardiac issues will be invaluable to the overall community. The Great Ape Heart Project is a research project based at the Detroit Zoological Society. Our mission first and foremost is to provide real-time clinical care to great apes housed in zoos. With the data we collect, we also include this in the world's largest database of cardiac health-related data in great apes. This information is on gorillas, orangutans, bonobos, and chimpanzees worldwide among zoos and allows us to look at trends between the individuals and even within individuals over time. This was the first time that an implantable loop recorder from Medtronic was implanted in a bonobo. We have over 10 years of data on gorillas and chimpanzees and some orangutans now, but we've never done this in the bonobos before. And this is going to help us look at trends and arrhythmias between the species, as well as be able to help these individual bonobos. So we had a lot of specialists here from around the country assist with these procedures. We had a human anesthetist, a veterinary cardiologist, a human cardiologist, a human ultrasonographer, a veterinary radiologist, as well as all of our animal health team here to make sure that um, everything ran smoothly and we had all the specialists and all the information that we needed going into these procedures. So these loop recorders that were placed in the Great Apes are actually human devices that were donated by Medtronix. They are implanted patient side to humans, completely awake and under local anesthesia. All Great Apes were safely anesthetized so that we can access the site, clean it well, and implant the loop recorders. And I was very privileged to actually be able to implant two of them myself. The technique involves making a small skin incision and a small tunnel is made under the skin. The implant device is pushed under the skin, twisted over so the electrodes of the loop recorder face the heart and then is pushed under the skin. The skin is then closed over the um, device to make sure that it does not move. While these loop recorders are in the great apes, they are constantly recording heart rate and heart rhythm, which sends alerts to um, the devices that tell us that something might be going on with our great apes heart and their function. Um, this information is recorded continuously and downloaded using cellular signal and sent for submission to the Great Ape Heart Project for review. I am a cardiologist that takes care of human patients on a day-to-day -day basis and uh, for the Great Ape Heart Project I am a cardiac advisor. With the data that we are collecting we're hoping to help manage their cardiac disease Something people don't realize is that great apes die from heart disease, just like humans do. And so what we're trying to do is help manage that and capture potential arrhythmias that could cause sudden cardiac death in the population. I think the Great Ape Heart Project is a wonderful way for me to give back as a cardiologist. I think that um, these species are so similar to humans and I think it's our job to use what we know in humans to help the great apes. So post-procedure, all of our apes are doing really well. They recovered well from anesthesia and are taking all of their routine medications as normal, and no one seems bothered by the placement of these loop recorders. Here at the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium, we see the importance of 
um, providing all of this vital information and data sharing with the Grade 8 Pop Project and the, the importance of having these loop recorders in these particular apes that all have some degree of heart disease. These loop recorders will provide the ability to monitor the patient's real time, adjust medications as needed, to make sure that we're providing the best care to these animals through their older years.